everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys? Thank you for joining. We're going to stay in a few minutes. It's almost one o'clock, right? Uh, well, I was wondering, how's it going? How's it going, guys? How are you doing? Everything okay? Yes. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Everything okay? Are you okay? Are you well? Are you all right? I'm well, teacher. Okay. Very good. So listen, I'm going to start with the attendance. I will pass attendance. I'm going to put your name, please. Stay present. Let's go. Madame Patrice? Present. Okay. Excellent Marroquin. Ana Silvia. Berlina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Thanks. Dalia. Dalia. Dora. Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And the key water. Hazel. Present. Thanks. Jeremias Rivas. Joana Raquel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Mario. Kenia Salina. I'm here, teacher. Here, lady. Present. Eliana Amelia. Present, teacher. Here. Marina Sanabria. Marina Sanabria. Ricardo Albino. Ricardo Albino. Sandra Melissa. Present teacher. Sarah Esther. Present teacher. Here. Sarah Elizabeth. Present Stephanie. teacher. Here. Stephanie Isabel. Vanessa. Present teacher. Here. Susana. Present teacher. Thanks. Tatiana. Present teacher. Here, Leonel Hernandez. Present. Here. Laura. Present teacher. Here. Alba. Present teacher. Eric Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Here, Michelle. Edgar. Sorry to be late, Ana Silvia. Oh, yeah, 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 no worries. Give me a second with that. Edgar Wilfredo. Michelle is present. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Ana Silvia. Yeah. Somebody else? I can see Enrique too. Dalia, Dalia present. Sí, ya, ya I'm la here, by the way. Okay. Claudia Lizardi, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, somebody else? Sí, who else? Jeremia <laughs> Rivas, Jose Mario is here. Yet. Arena Sanabria. No. Ricardo Albino. Present. Thank you. Let's see. Stephanie Isabel here. 
Fayette. Eh, Edgar, Wilfredo. Edgar. Oh. Ok. Alexander Marroquín. Not yet. Perfect. Eh, thank you guys. Good afternoon, one more time. Welcome. This is Teacher, present. Eight. Yo eh, me acabo de comentar. Tell me your name. Sorry. Jeremias, right? Sí. Ok. Thank you. And welcome. Teacher, también. Stephanie, thank you. Good afternoon. How are you, Stephanie? And Jeremias? I'm fine, teacher. It's me. Okay, thank you for joining, guys. We're going to start with the class. It's class number eight. Let me see in the chat. Oh, okay. I got you, Lilina. Thank you for, for informing. All right, so we're going to start with class number eight. Today is Tuesday, July 27th. This is today's topic. References, comparisons with adjectives, right? We're going to talk about that today. We're going to focus on that. Okay, before to start, I just want to point out some things about the, the module in general and the platform, right? Solo quiero hacer énfasis antes de iniciar con respecto a algunos puntos, ¿verdad? Eh, que pues en este momento estamos tomando en cuenta, ¿verdad? Lo primero con la plataforma. Recordemos que ese día teníamos la semana 2, con 3, y por ende debemos de como les explicaba ayer, perdón, debemos de hacer el midterm. Ese día hay que hacer el midterm. Ayer lo explicaba. Así es que espero que pues, uno ya lo hayan hecho o recuerden que tenemos que hacer ese día. Eh, y tenemos que tener completados a la sección 3. Como se comentaba ayer, con respecto a la plataforma, debemos de completar. Perdón, es que nos hemos atrasado. Eh, recuerden, completar hasta la sección 3 de ese día. Entonces ahí, los que hemos completado, pues hemos avanzado mucho más. Excelente. Okay. Eh, igual, se les invita a los demás, han atrasado un poco, se ha hecho difícil, a completar ese día, ¿verdad? Hasta la sección 3. Eh, con respecto a, al formulario que ustedes están llenando para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, va a ser si alguien ha tenido problemas para Es decir, tal vez no, lo, no ha recibido el, el archivo o tal vez no, no ha podido descargarlo. Eh, bueno, hacer la, la mención acá en general, que eh, en ese caso, si alguien de eh, compañeros o alguna persona, algún participante, podría compartir el, el archivo en el grupo de WhatsApp, pues, que se le facilita a los demás compañeros en caso de tener alguna dificultad. Recuerden que se tienen que llenar el formulario para poder reenviarlo y para la inscripción al siguiente módulo. De igual forma, pues, siempre motivarlos y animarlos a mantener ese porcentaje en cuanto a la plataforma y, pues, asistencia también, ¿verdad? Del 80%. Arriba del 80%, mantener siempre ese porcentaje para, pues, tener la continuidad de esa beca. Tener ese beneficio siempre. Entonces, que hacer énfasis en eso. No sé si alguien ha tenido problemas con, con el formulario. Teacher, yo tuve problema, eh, eh, me salía que no lo podía, no tenía acceso, este, pero eh, le escribí por WhatsApp a alguien de soporte técnico, creo que es el, bueno, ese es el sí. correo, pero, pero le escribí a alguien a quien me mandó el enlace. Y le pedí que por favor me, me dieran acceso y bueno, eso fue ayer. Ajá, ayer escribí, ayer en la tarde. Anoche ya pude descargarlo, o sea, sí me dieron el acceso. Perfecto, perfecto. Sí, ese, ese, ese fue el problema que la mayoría tuvo con respecto al acceso. Les daba ese, ese pequeño problema, pero igual, el, en ese caso, pues, lo recomendable sería eso, ¿no? contactarse con alguien de soporte técnico para que les puedan ayudar. Ustedes en los, en el, en el, los contactos ¿verdad? de ellos para que ustedes puedan hacerlo. Eh, cualquier cosa, pues estamos a la orden. Igual, eh, si alguien tuvo también problemas para poder descargarlo, ya recuerden, ponerse en contacto con alguien de soporte técnico 
para que les ayude. Igual, bueno, este, si alguien que sea, se puede compartirlo en el grupo WhatsApp, creo que va a ser lo, lo más fácil. El mismo formulario para todos, pues ahí ustedes lo pueden obtener por parte de sus mismos compañeros, ¿verdad? Pero igual, eh, ustedes pueden siempre hacer eh, la consulta, el reporte técnico, para que ellos pues, les ayuden, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Eh, bueno, no sé si tienen preguntas, dudas. La invitación siempre es esa, seguir avanzando en la plataforma. Y quiero mencionar lo siguiente, se me escapaba. Recuerden que la próxima semana, pues, vamos a tener pausa académica, por las vacaciones, ¿verdad? Y, pero la invitación siempre está, si nos hemos atrasado y no podemos, no hemos podido avanzar, que se les pide, pues, de favor, que podamos aprovechar, vamos a aprovechar en, en nuestros tiempos libres, ¿verdad? La próxima semana, a poder avanzar. Fin de semana igual, avanzar, y que ustedes puedan a modo de completar, ¿verdad? Y si en caso se han atrasado, completar hasta donde se les ha mencionado, ¿verdad? Ese día tiene que ser completo, es la sección 3, eh, porque ese día tenemos la semana 2 y la sección 3, y hacemos el mito. Entonces, es que hasta la invitación, nosotros llegamos hasta el jueves, ¿verdad? Hasta ese jueves mmm, 29, vamos con, la, con las clases, y la próxima semana pasaría la ocasión. Y nos reincorporaríamos re el próximo lunes, lunes 9 de agosto. Este día seguimos a terminar la última. Bueno, habría falta más clase, ¿verdad? Que ahora terminar el módulo. El módulo. Porque mañana iniciamos la semana 3. Terminaremos la después de vacación con la semana 3. Y, e iniciaríamos con la semana 4. Sería la última. Es que les. Claro, les informo desde de allá, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes se al tanto. No sé si hay dudas o preguntas. No, teacher. Thank Toda you. la semana va a ser sin clase. La próxima semana, sí, porque es vacación. Nos reincorporamos hasta el 9 de agosto. Teacher, una consulta, pero le podemos escribir para ver si usted nos ayuda, que sea un ejercicio. Sí. O va a estar de vacaciones usted. No para pero... cobrar extra. No, no, claro que no. Claro que no. Ok, siempre teacher. Sea, siempre voy a estar disponible. No se preocupen. No se disponible. Thanks, pueden teacher. Hacer, yeah, pueden hacerme sus consultas y igual les, les aclaro y les informo, ¿verdad? Porque esa fue la indicación que se nos dio. Que va a ser una pausa académica por la vacación, pero ustedes pues deben de seguir en caso se han atrasado, aprovechar el tiempo. Y vamos a estar a la orden. Cualquier cosa se lo me dice. Eh, by the way, hello, Alexander. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how's it going? Uh, all fine, thank you. Okay, thank you too. Well, uh, any questions? If not, we start. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Thanks. Okay, as I said before, uh, the topic for today is preferences. And at the same time, we're going to make comparisons with either test. That is the topic. This is class number eight. Moving on, let's begin. Uh, this is where we make some preferences. We, pre we make preferences. And this is where you can ask questions. Which one do you prefer? All right? So you can say, I prefer the letter one. I prefer the letter one. In this case, talking about a probably a piece of clothing, right? Clothing. But that is a question that you can use if you want to ask about that. Which one do you prefer? And we use that expression, which is prefer, right? Prefer. Which one do you prefer? As we saw yesterday, we're using one, right? One, but in this case, probably can be like, which jacket do you prefer? And then you say, I prefer the leather one. The leather one. Leather is a kind of, this is a material. It's a material. Well, right? Well, I prefer the leather one. So we know that we're referring to the jacket. 
Which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. So we use, I prefer, I prefer. Or you express preferences. This expression and with the question, which one do you prefer? Which jacket, which car do you prefer, etc. You say, I prefer, blah, blah, blah. That is the first possibility. Another possibility is, which one do you like better? Or it can be, which one do you like more? Both questions are correct. You can say, which one do you like better? Or you can say, which one do you like more? So both questions are correct. You can use both questions. Again, which jacket do you like more? Or which jacket do you like better? So both are the same. You can say, I like the leather one better, or you can say, I like the leather one more. So it depends. I like the leather one better, or you can say, I like the leather one more. Okay, so we focus on this. Focus on this. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. One better. I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. So in this case, you are expressing preferences. Preferences. Of course, you can change the question. You can change the question. And yeah, right here, we're using which one? As we saw yesterday, one once, you can include it. If you know what you're talking about, you can omit it. You can omit it, you can replace it, and you can use one or once. For example, right here, like I said before, so we're talking about a jacket. So you can say, which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one, right? Or which one do you like more? Or which one do you like better? I like the leather one better, or I like the leather one more. So those are the ways we express preferences. Preferences. Okay. Any questions over here? No question, teacher. No Thank question, you. teacher. Okay. So here, like I said before, we can vary the question. It can be which, which car do you prefer? Which car do you prefer? I prefer the Honda one. So we can say just which one, which one do you prefer? We know that we're talking about car. I prefer the Honda one. The Honda one. Or it can be which which car do you like better? I like the Honda one better. So it depends. Depends. You can make this combination. So you can say which car do you prefer? If you want to be more specific with the question, which car do you prefer? Or you can say, which one do you prefer? If you're in the, in the place, right? If you are in that scenario and you're looking for a car, for example, you can ask your, your friend or I don't know, somebody else, which one do you prefer? You know that you're talking about cars. So it is not necessary to say, which car do you prefer? Because you are in a, in a place in which or where, sorry, people sell cars or cars. Okay. On the other hand, we can make comparisons. We can make comparisons with adjectives. So here we have these examples. These are called comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives. Okay. We can make comparisons with adjectives. When do we use them? We use 
comparative adjectives to compare only two things. We say two things, we're referring to, to animals, to objects, places, to people. Okay, but we compare just two things, only two things. Okay, and we use comparative forms. Okay, so we keep in mind the adjectives. Adjectives. We have different adjectives, right? Let me show you. Okay, we have different, different adjectives. And we have comparative forms. These are the ones that we, we include in the comparative sentences. For example, we can have a pass. We can say small, um, big. We can say um, all, funny, good, and we can use bad. Those are adjectives, and we use them in a comparative form. Okay? So, as you can see here, we're using that one is cheaper than the wool one, or this is, or this one is nicer than. The leather jacket is pretty than it looks bigger than it's more stylish, stylish than. So this is the way we make comparative forms. As you can see here. So we have sheep. This is an adjective. We have sheep, nice, pretty, and big. We'll say sheep. Deeper, nice, nicer, pretty, freer, big, bigger. With the comparative adjectives, we add following endings. Ending. We use R, E R, or R E R. So it depends on the adjective. It depends on the adjective. Let me show you some rules, some rules. So don't forget this example. Don't forget this example. And don't forget these forms. Deeper than, nicer than, nicer than. Don't forget that piece. Nicer than, greater than, bigger than, more stylish than. Don't forget that piece. Moving on here. Okay, we have different adjectives. We have short adjectives. They have one syllable or two syllables. And we have long adjectives. So they have more than two syllables. And we have some irregular adjectives. Let's see some examples here. It's bold, short, fat, easy, very, difficult, beautiful, bad, and good. Those are the adjectives. They are in a base form, let's say, in base form. I gave you more examples here, right? Fast, small, happy, tall, funny, good and bad. Let's see what the comparative forms are. For example, let's begin with this first, with this form. They are short adjectives. So they have one syllable. They have one syllable. Una sola syllable, right? For example, a small, we say a smaller. And when we use this comparative form, we accompany with them. That is a structure. We use a subject. We use verb. We use a comparative form. Plus, and then, Plus, can be a noun, a noun at the end. That is a complement. Okay? So that's what we say is smaller than, shorter than, fatter than. 
those are the first three adjectives. They are short adjectives. And most of the times when we have short adjectives, we have some specific adjectives like, for example, big. So this adjective, right, that, that one has consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, that's consonant, vowel, consonant, consonante, vocal, consonante. When we have the rule, when we have the rule, we double, we double the last letter. And we include, in some cases, the arm, the arm. So that's why in this case we say bigger, because it finishes with consonant, vowel, consonant. So we double the last letter, double D, and we add ER at the end for this comparative form. Okay? That is the way. That's why in, with this example with fat, the fat is the same because we have consonant, vowel, consonant. So we double the T. Fat, fatter, fatter that. That is the first rule to compare the adjectives. What about when you have two syllable adjectives and these adjectives finish with the letter Y? So what do we do? In this case, we have two syllables, those I deal with syllables, and they finish with the letter Y. In this case, we omit, so we eliminate the letter Y, and we include R E R. So that's why we say easier than. Very, we say barrier than. Okay, that is the second rule. We can have more examples, like happy, for example. Say happier and a funny. Another one will say funnier and another example is heavy. With heavy, we say heavier and mm -hmm. ever than. Happy, you see, later. Questions? Any questions? Happy. I'm sorry. Okay, that is the second rule. Let me know if you have any questions, no problem. That is the second rule. Two syllable adjectives. Can we finish with a little white? Let's go with number three. With number three, oh, but let me finish with this adjectives. For example, fast. We'll say faster than. A small, we say a smaller than. Yeah, we tall, we say taller than because they are short adjectives. I'm going to leave this one to the end. And let's go with long adjectives. When we have long adjectives, like difficult, beautiful, popular, famous, etc., you follow this structure. More plus an adjective over here. More plus an adjective plus than. So now, for example, we have beautiful, we have difficult, we have intelligent, famous, popular, okay? And we focus on the syllables. So it says that when we have more than two syllables, okay, we have probably two or more than two, more than three syllables, uh, more than two syllables, sorry. In this case, we include or we use more. So we don't use now R, E, R, or I, E, R. No. Listen, for example, one syllable, one syllable, this is the second syllable. And this is the third syllable. So this adjective has two syllables. So that's why we say more beautiful than to say more difficult and more intelligent and more famous and more popular than. Okay, so this is different because they are long adjectives. Long adjectives, and these ones are short adjectives. Uh, 
Okay. So that's the way. That's the way. More the additive and then more beautiful than, more famous than, etc. That's the way. And at the end we have the irregular adjectives. Irregular adjectives. Okay, so in this case, we don't use ER, IER, or we don't use ER, or just R, sorry. So for example, for good, we don't say gooder. Incorrect. We don't say for bad, badder. This is incorrect. But what do we what do we do? Sorry. What we do is this. So in this case, we say better than. And for this one, we say worse than. Yeah. There is another one which is Mush. far. For this one, we say a farther than. It can be farther or it can be farther than. So both are correct. You can say farther than, farther than. Both are correct. Okay, better than, worse than, farther than, or further than. Those are Teacher. some regular adjectives. Yeah, Tom? What is the meaning far? Far, okay. For example, let me give an example. Uh, you can no. say, yeah, la unión is farther than San Salvador. La Unión is farther than San Salvador. Lejos. Or you can say further. It's the same. It's the same. It's farther than San Salvador. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. This is a way we make comparisons, guys, with adjectives, with the comparative adjectives specifically. Any questions about the rules? No okay. question, teacher. Thanks. Let me give you some examples. For instance, the mouse is smaller than the elephant, right? The elephant is enormous. Yeah. The mouse is more than the other. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the tell far, me. ¿cuál era el, 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 el irregular? Farther. Ah, farther, farther than. Farther. You can say further than. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. The mouse, this is an example. The mouse is smaller than the elephant. So we know that the mouse is like this, right? And the elephant is just enormous. So that is a comparison. We're comparing two animals, mouse and an elephant. Okay, let's analyze the example. Let's analyze the example over here. So we say the mouse is smaller than the elephant. So the mouse is the subject, is the verb be a smaller, it's a comparative form. Dance, that is, a, it is part of the structure. And then we say another noun. This is the complement. The elephant. One example. Another one. New York is more popular than San Salvador. So now we're comparing two places, two cities specifically. The two cities are New York and San Salvador. Okay. New York is more famous than. New York is the subject, the verb be. This is the comparative form, more famous. It's a long adjective. Dance in San Salvador, that's a noun. That is a common. Another example. Listen, my father is older than my mother. My father is older than my mother. My father is older than my mother. My father is a subject. He is to say the verb be right. He is as a verb be. The comparative form is older. Then it is part of the structure, right? So my mother is a noun because it becomes complement. 
And the last one, English is better than math. But it depends, right? It depends. English is better than math. So now, well, sorry. In the previous one, and this one, my father is older than my mother, so we're comparing two people. Two people. My father and my mother. Right? In the other one, English is better than math. So now here, we're comparing two things. We're comparing two school subjects. English and math. And math. Okay, so this is a way we make comparisons. Make comparisons. And of course, we can ask questions. We can ask questions. For example, let's see how we make questions. If we tend to use this extra structure, sorry, which is plus the competitive form. Okay. And we can say, let's take into account the first example. The mouse is smaller than the elephant. Okay, and this is the example. That is the answer, right? The mouse is smaller than the elephant. Let's ask a question. I'm going to compare two animals, only two animals. Which one is smaller? The mouse or the elephant? This is a way you make questions. Which, which is smaller? Which is smaller? The mouse or the elephant? What do you think? The mouse. Yeah, yes. Smaller than the elephant. Smaller than the elephant. Yeah, it's more than the other things. Very good. What about if I ask you another question? Uh, which is which is more popular? Um, Pokemon or El Pital? Which is more popular? What do you think? In a saddle. Okay. Okay. Is more popular than El Pital. Okay. Very good. El Boquerón is more popular than El Pital. Okay, that's the way. This is the comparative form. We can, we can see it. We can recognize this in the, in the question and in the, the, the answer, right? The sentence. Okay. That's what we make questions. Yeah. 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 una consulta. Tal vez no es que sea más popular el botón, sino que es más fácil de llegar que el pital. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos decir eso en inglés? What do you mean? Probably, I mean, I got you. I got you. Probably you can say it's more accessible than El Pital, as you said. We can say in that way, probably. Perón is more accessible than El Pital. It's because, yeah, it, probably it is, it is neater, neater than El Pital. That's another way. El Pital is neater than El Pital. So más cerca. So más cerca. So you can say both, both. Boqueron is more accessible than that, or Boqueron is neater than El Pital. So it can be in that way. It can be in that way. Uh, can you listen to me? Yeah. Hello? Teacher, your future for the time. Yo le escucho algo cortado. Ok. Eh, ¿Los demás me escuchan bien? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. 
Entonces, ok, thank you. Me hacen saber si, no, si se escucha cortado. Si se escucha Estoy implementando un par de inconvenientes ahorita. Acabo de ver que decía que la conexión estaba inestable. Eh, ok, continue. Eh, any questions over here, guys, about comparatives, about the way we ask questions? Eh, if you want to ask about people. No, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Eh, Para hacer preguntas, siempre se comienza con which. Yes, most of the times, yes. But if you want to refer to people, it's different. You say who. Who is more famous? Uh, Vin Diesel or Robert Downey Jr. So if you want to ask for people, it's different. Who? Who is more famous? Vin yeah, Diesel or... Yeah, you okay. I'm sorry? Can I use what to? Uh, can be, can be. If you want to replace it instead of which, you can use it. What is more popular? What is more popular or you can use which? What is most common? Which is Upper, more popular than what? It's more, more, most, most common. It is the most common. Which uh, and what? But who know? We cannot say what is more famous, Vinicius or Don Jr. So who is just for people? Who is more famous, guys? Sure. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Probably. Eh, in the syntax, the which is siempre va more y el, el, el comparativo. Y después dan. It depends, it depends. Because if you have a, a short adjective, you use a smaller. You don't use more. It depends on the adjective. If it is short or long. If it is a short adjective, you use which is a smaller. But if you use a long adjective, like popular, you say which is more popular. Which is for... Uh, it's, it's the, the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Escucha al mismo tiempo, perdón. It depends del adjetivo. Si es corto o largo, así voy a poner. Yeah, it depends on the adjective. Yeah. Um, for place um, and who is for people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which is in general it can be for places in this case or in, the, in this context because you're asking for uh, choices, choices. Estamos preguntando por eh, opciones, etc. No específicamente de lugares, ¿verdad? This question, which is more popular, el doctorón o el vital? Well, probably you can tell me, but teacher, uh, for places we use where? Yes, for questions. But in this case, we're asking for choices. Remember that which is used for choices. Which which is more popular? Or vital? I'm sorry? Excuse me? Opciones. Exactly. Opciones. Options or choices. Yes. So that's why we use which in general. But for people, we use who. Who? who is more famous? Who is a person? Exactly, we use it for people, typically. So in this case, probably, I don't know, Robert Downey Jr. Is, is more famous than in this one. So this is a way. Because it's, Teacher, it's, it's, se podría be... decir, where is more beautiful? No, uh, where not, where not, just which. Because, yeah. Yeah. lugar, Teacher, no, no se puede decir where. No, just which, because we're asking for choices. Um, for choices, yeah. <laughs> En ese caso, no aplican las, las, las otras instrucciones como where, when, porque estamos preguntando por opciones. O tenemos opciones acá. No puede ser válido where. Where is, this, for example, with the place, right? Where is more popular? El boquerón o el hospital. No. 
So we use which because we're asking for choices. Which one, which, which is more popular, sorry? Boquerón or Vital? Boquerón is more popular than Vital. Teacher. Y, por ejemplo, cuando se hablan de en plural, digamos, las manzanas, yeah. se cambia a, eh, se reemplaza el is por el are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, in this case, which are more, let me see, delicious. Mm. Probably red apples or green apples. So this is in plural. Yes. This is in plural. Thank Which you. are more delicious? You're welcome. A red apples or green apples? Probably red apples are more delicious than green apples. So now here is different. This is plural. We can do it. Which are more delicious? So this is plural. Of course, we need to be careful here because these nouns, they have to be in plural. If the question is in plural, the nouns have to be in plural. Which are more delicious? Red apples or green apples? Red apples are more delicious than green apples. Okay? And again, like I said before, we tend to use which for comparative forms, when we're asking comparative questions, right? Because we're asking for choices, for choices, for options. And for who, we use, I mean, for, for people, sorry, we use who, who. Okay. Any questions, anybody else? No question. Thank you. Somebody else? Let me give you more examples. Look, we have two things over here. We have a smartphone and we have a telephone. Which one is, I'm sorry, which is newer? The smartphone or the telephone? The smartphone, the smartphone is more new than telephone. than telephone. Okay, very good. Which is newer? New is a short adjective. We don't say more. We don't say more new. We say newer. Smartphone or the telephone. So we say newer. That is a comparative form because it's a short adjective. Actually, look, the smartphone is newer than the telephone. Okay. Next. So this is my grandfather and this is me. Uh, who is, who is uh, the, who is older, sorry. Who is older, my grandfather or me? Grandfather. Grandfather. Okay. My grandfather is... Older than older me. Older than me. Older than, than me. Very good. Like, older. My grandfather is older than me. If I want to say the opposite, is I am. I say I am. Younger. Younger. Yeah. Younger than. Than my grandfather. Exactly. So this is the opposite. I am younger than my grandfather. Another one. What we know. So now we have two animals. We have the shira, a shira, and we have a toro. Which is faster, the shira or the toro? Shira is faster. Shira. Exactly. The shira is faster than the toro. The shira is faster than the toro. The opposite, what is the opposite? Which is the slower? The toro or the shira? The toro is, the toro is, is slow. Slower. Slower. Then. Yeah, the total is slower than the shira. Very good. That is the opposite. 
the total is slower than the cheetah. So here we're talking about the speed, right? The speed they probably they walk or they run, right? The speed. Very good. Another one. Uh, we have expensive, we have a car, and we have a, a bike, which is cheap. Uh, which is more expensive, the car or the bike? The car is more expensive with the bicycle. Okay. Yes, the car is more expensive than the bike. Now let me ask you the opposite, which is cheaper, the, the car or the bike? The bike, the bike is cheaper than, than, than the car. Very good. And the car. The bike is cheaper than the car. Excellent. Very good. So this is a way, guys, we make comparisons with additives. Specifically, we call them comparative additives. Comparative additives. Then we have short additives, long additives, and irregular additives. Let me ask you, you know, more questions. Uh, which is um, easier? English or math? What do you think? Oh, English. <laughs> English. 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 Oh, is your dance math. Okay. You know, here we can we can get many or different opinions, right? Probably some people can say math is easier than yes. English. It depends, right? Yes. We can get different opinions. So yeah. we can we can we can obtain those answers with the comparative adjectives so people can express their opinions. Right. Very good. Let me see uh, another question, which is more difficult. And let me see. I will say I will continue with up with subjects English. Or French, what do you think? French is more difficult than English. No. I'm sorry? French, the grammar is similar to Espanol. Yeah, yeah. Yes. English it's similar is, to. English is difficult grammar. More, okay, more, more ruler. Okay, English grammar is more difficult than French grammar. The pronunciation is difficult. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah, okay. Okay. Very good. So, which one? Sorry, French or English? English pronunciation or French pronunciation? French pronunciation is French. It's more difficult than English. Okay. Very good. Okay. This is a way we express comparisons. We make comparisons. I did it. I would like to know if you have any questions, doubts, comments, something that is not clear. ¿Cómo, cómo distingo cuando el adjetivo es corto o largo? That's a good no, question. Uh, yeah, that can be one possibility. Another one that you count the syllables. For example, big, and we have, a, let me see, interesting, interesting. So this is a short additive. This is a short additive. And this is a long additive. Why? Because what we have to do is count the, the, the syllables. Syllables. So this word, big, this additive has one syllable, one syllable. And this one, this one has four syllables. Um, one syllable, second syllable, this is the third syllable, and this is the, the fourth syllable. We have to count the syllables. That's a way you can identify short or long adjectives. The so one syllables. Mm. Se, se obtienen o se reconocen los adjetivos largos o cortos. 
Yeah. Adam. Teacher, ¿existen algunos adjetivos que pueda tener dos posibles formas de, de compararlos? Hmm. Interesting. Mm, let me see, let me think about it. For example, polite, polite or more polite? Polite? Uh-huh. Mm, no, we say more polite, more polite, more polite. We don't say politer, so we say more polite. For sure? I'm sorry? Sure. Sure, I'm all sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, but this is not an adjective. This is not an adjective. In this case, it's not an adjective. I'm thinking about it because, yeah, I have seen in some occasions that people, for example, friendly, they said, well, the, the most common, I mean, the, the way we, that we use it is friendlier, friendlier. That is the, the correct one. That is the one that we use, friendlier. But in some cases, I have seen some people that say more friendly. But, it, you know, can be, can be, but the most, but the best answer is this one, friendlier, friendlier. There are some, there are some, but I don't remember exactly uh, some of the those examples. Uh, let me investigate, let me look for them, and I'm going to tell you, okay? No worries. Okay. Yeah, anytime. But yeah, Thank there teacher. are some, some ways. I'm sorry? Thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah, anytime, anytime. Okay, we will continue, guys. We're going to go to the following part. Let's go to, with some exercises. Uh, you will have some of them. It has some sentences. What I wanted to do, I needed to look at those exercises and complete them, complete the sentences with the correct form of the comparative adjectives. The first exercise is given as an example. Apples and the adjective is healthy, healthy. So we have to say the comparative form. Apples are healthier than chips. So you have to continue with the other ones. You need to follow the example, the first one, and continue with the other ones. Remember, the adjectives are in parentheses. Big, expensive, slow, good, tall, thin, strong, interesting, and heavy. So you have to write the comparative forms. Okay? I will give you a few minutes because it's almost time. We're going to discuss the exercises in class. Let's go. This is all. In your novels, in your novels.
Okay, listen, so let me, I just want to interrupt you just a moment. I just want to clarify what, um, again, also the example. But I don't want to interrupt your work. Okay, oops. Well, I just want to clarify the, the question that um, Adam was asking me about this, these adjectives, uh, because I, I didn't remember exactly the, the adjectives, adjectives that you can use with, with the two forms. In some cases, yeah, we can have two, but these ones are two syllable, two syllable adjectives. So one of them is quiet. Quiet, you can say quieter, or you can say more quiet, more quiet, more quiet. That is one. A, another one is clever. Clever. So with this one, we can say cleverer, cleverer, or we can say more clever, more clever. Um, there is another one which is narrow, narrow. You can say narrower, narrower, or you can say more narrow. What is the meaning of narrow, teacher? Narrow, for example, if you go to, let me see, if you go to Italy, there are some places in Italy that the streets are narrow, narrow, angosto. And the other one is simple. So you can say simpler, or some people say more simple. So th those are some examples that you can use with both with both, but what they have to see levels, see levels, okay? Yes, yes. You're welcome. Okay, listen, we're going to start with the exercises because, um, yeah, we don't have too much time. I just want to discuss the exercises with you and that's the end of the class, right? Number one, apples are healthier than chips. Volunteer for number two. Elephants are. Laura? Elephants are bigger than birds. Okay, yeah. Elephants are bigger than birds. Very good. Number three. Gold is, is more expensive than silver. Gold is more expensive than silver. Yes. Very good. Let me write the comparative forms over here. So the first one is healthier. The second one is bigger, as I said. Number three, more expensive. Okay, let's go with number four. Bikes. Bikes slower. are more slower than cars. Bikes are, are slower than cars. Yes, slower. Number five, I am. I'm very uh, English than, than my uh, brother. English than my brother. Exactly. Better. That is a competitive one. Good. Number six, my friend is taller than me. Is taller. My friend is taller than me. Exactly. My friend is taller than me. Taller. Talking about the height. And I have a number, question. Yeah, tell me. What's the meaning of thin? Thin. Yeah, thin. Yep. Thin. Uh, for example, uh, talking yeah. about the, the physical yeah. appearance. The yeah. physical yeah. appearance. I'm sorry, uh, the physical appearance. Uh, there are some people that they are fat, right? Fat. So they eat a lot. They eat a lot and they have a big body, right? Big body. So they are fat. And thin is the opposite. Thin is the opposite. Is someone that oh, okay. eat, but probably he has a bit complexity, etc. So it depends. That is thin. Uh, number seven, Sandy is thinner. Sandy thinner. is thinner than Tamara. Yeah, uh, Sandy is thinner than Tamara. Very good. Number eight, my, my father. father my father is stronger than my father. 
Yes, my father is stronger than Tom's father. Number nine, Harry Potter. Books are more, books are more interesting, interesting than the books book of, the of the jungle. Yes, Harry Potter books are more interesting than the book of the jungle. And the last one, number 10. The tiger is heavier than heavier. The last one is heavier. The tiger is heavier than the fox. Very good. So these are the competitive forms, guys. Very good job of the sentences. All right. Do you have any questions, doubts, comments? Everything is no, okay. No, teacher. Everything is okay. Question, teacher. Okay. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. ¿Por qué en Tim duplicó la N y en el slower no si es? Okay, very good question. Yeah, thin is because it has, we apply the rule, consonant, vowel, consonant. So yeah, here we have just, we had just, we had two consonants, right? But yeah, it becomes one consonant because we had just one syllable, one syllable. Thin, if this is, well, sorry, consonant, vowel, consonant. So that's why we say thinner with double N, thinner. What is low? It's low, in that case, that is an exception. That is an exception. That's why we don't double the last letter. We don't say like this, because that one is an exception. There are some, some of them that we don't double the last letter. That's why it's just one W. And in this one, yes, we double the last letter. Okay? Very good. Somebody else, questions? Okay, listen, your homework will be, you know, practice, right? Practice. What I want to do in your notebooks, make comparisons. Make comparisons, okay. write sentences, let's compare your family members, places, animals, etc. So that'll be your homework and practice. Write sentences about comparisons. Only that. Okay? Okay, teacher. Well, everybody, uh, just remember, continue practicing and working in the platform, please. If you have any questions, just let me know. Contact I have a question. And of course, I'm willing to help. Yes, I'll begin. Tell me. Will you share us the notes that you do? Oh, in the, um, in the Word document? Yep. Yes, that one. Okay, sure. Let me see if I can copy this in the chat right now. Before we go, vamos a lo puedo compartir en el grupo. Perdón, acá en el chat. Yes, I can. Ok, ahorita lo estoy compartiendo acá en el, en el chat. Uh -huh. Se me saca. Si alguien no tiene acceso acá, se los puedo compartir. What's up, teacher? Okay, so let's wait a minute to compartir ahí. Cualquier cosa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, uh, listen, guys, this is all for today. We will continue tomorrow with yeah, more content. Thank you so much for being here, for your time, patient, and of course, participation. Have a good day. Stay safe, please, and blessings. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, For sure. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. It's a pleasure.